Hey everyone, Udaldor here, and welcome to one of the parts of my Android tutorial series. In this part, we will be talking about the Sterling Generator. Now, the Sterling Generator is one way of generating power within Android and you need power for pretty much all Android machines as well as machines from a few other mods as well. Now, Android fully supports the Minecraft Dual System and the Redstone Flux System, so uh, you can use the power generated with uh, either Buildcraft compatible or Redstone Flux compatible mods. Now, by default, Android is going to show the values, uh, the Redstone Flux values in game because it's the more popular system. You can change that in the config file though if you'd rather have Android show the Minecraft Jewels values. Okay, I recommend you guys use not enough items with Android to show recipes. It's really pretty useful. I won't be showing any recipes of the advanced items in this video. Okay, so for the recipe, it's really pretty simple. You need five stone bricks of any type, a furnace, a piston, and two basic gears. Now the basic gears are very simple to make. You only need four sticks and four cobblestone per gear. So that'll get you a stirring generator. Now, as you can see, it says hold shift here. And if we hold shift, that's going to show a small information text. So basically, the Sterling Generator will burn solid fuels to generate power. It can be upgraded to increase power output and efficiency with capacitors. Now, if you wonder what solid fuels are, solid fuels are basically chests, coal, planks, sticks, blaze rods, oak saplings, anything you could use as a fuel in a vanilla furnace. Now, capacitors are crafting components and upgrades in Ender I.O. I won't be showing you any recipes for those, but there are recipes uh, in NEI as well as on the wiki. Now there are other ways of generating power if you want to see those they are also on the wiki. Now let's get started looking at the stirring generator. When you place this down in the world it's going to look a little something like this and you can see uh, if you have whale installed it's going to say hold shift up here as well we can hold shift that's going to show the information text up there as well so you don't actually have to open your inventory which is pretty cool. Anyways when we open this uh, interface up here you're gonna see a whole bunch of things first off uh, this text up here generating this is gonna show you how much power you're generating and right now of course we haven't put any fuels in we're not generating any power at all if we put a piece of coal in that's gonna start generating 20 RF per tick which is basically the default uh, speed or efficiency of the machine now the burn rate here uh, it's another story. Basically, the burn rate uh, basically tells you how long one piece of fuel will last. So a coal will last 600 uh, ticks, pretty much. Burn the burn time is six uh, 1600, right? Now, the burn rate is a multiplier for that. So in a stirring generator, by default, a piece of coal will last you. 3200 all right now you can also see the yellow text down there that's going to tell you how much power you're going to get out of each piece of coal and that is nei plugins showing you that you can uninstall you can <laughs> you can install that mod as well to show uh, to show that text down there but yeah yeah that's pretty much uh what this text means over here at the left side we have the internal uh, capacitor of power and by default that's 100,000 RF if you put upgrades in that's going to increase and we're gonna get to that in just a minute and these buttons over here I'll get to uh, a little later as well so if you want to upgrade your starting generator to generate more power per tick as well as get more power out of each piece of fuel you can as I said use these capacitors now I have three stirring gener generators here I'm gonna leave this one empty without an upgrade and here I'm going to put the double layer capacitor, which is the second tier upgrade. And in this one I'm going to put the octatic capacitor, which is the third tier upgrade. Now you can see that the burn time instantly changes. So in here, a piece of coal will actually last you 1600 instead of 3200, like it does without an upgrade. In here, the burn rate is 1.25x, so 25% longer uh, than it would in a vanilla furnace. So it really does depend on the type of upgrade. Now if we uh, put some uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put 16 sticks in each of these. We can take a look at uh, the burn rate. So in here, still we're generating 20 RF per tick and the burn rate is 2.0x. Here, we're now generating 40 RF per tick, and you can see that the in internal storage here is 200,000 RF instead of 100,000 RF. And in this one, the burn rate is 1.0x, and we're generating 80 RF per tick, and the internal storage is 1 million RF. Of course, this capacitor here is a lot more expensive than this one is, and uh, you won't be able to make these capacitors early game, you're gonna have to wait, at, well, until you have a few of the basic machines. Now one thing that you'll quickly notice is that we're burning through sticks a lot faster in here and in here than we are in here, but that does explain itself, doesn't it? So yeah, there you go. Now uh, I'm gonna talk about these buttons up here now, basically what this is, uh, if you click the configure IO button, this is basically a way of automatically pulling fuel from an adjacent inventory into the stirring generator. So let's say you've got a, th uh, a tree farm set up over there, and you're automatically pumping all the wood into this chest, and you automatically want to burn all of that wood into power. Well, you can with the configure IO button. Click here, you can hold down your left mouse button and drag around here. And you can basically see all adjacent blocks, you can see ghost images of those. And what you can do is you can right click on any side, so we can right click on the top here, that's going to set that to pull. So if we had an inventory up here, with something in it, it would automatically try to pull from that inventory. Disabled, this means you can't uh, hook up a pipe or anything. I'm going to spawn in a buildcraft pipe, real quick. And you'll see that it doesn't connect at all. Well, it does connect, but it won't accept any items. That's that's the what the disabled side does. Now, if you set it to none, you can still pipe stuff in, uh, no problem. But it won't try to automatically pull anything. I'm gonna set the left side here to pull. That's this side right here, and you can see that the texture actually does change. And I'm gonna put in some planks. And there you go. The plank automatically, the whole stack of planks automatically went in, and we're generating power. So it's a very cool feature, we can automatically just put all our uh, fuel in here and, you know, it would automatically keep this stocked at all times and just keep generating power. It's really cool. Now this button up here is redstone mode and this, you can basically use this to control your generator with redstone. So if we set this to active with signal, that's gonna basically make the generator stop. Now it will only always uh, burn through the uh, well the piece of fuel that it's currently burning so we're just gonna let this completely burn out. Let's see here. And since we don't have a redstone signal applied you can see that this is off. The generator will instantly stop. Flip the lever and it's gonna start again. Very very cool. You can also set it to active without signal and now it would stop when this thing uh, is done burning. All right. You can also set it to never active, which I have no idea why you want to, why you would want to set it to. Right, never active. It's a generator. You want the generator to run, but it's there. And the default mode again, always active. All right. Cool. Now uh, over here, I did a little experiment. We're gonna round the video off right here. I put down one, two, three stirring generators. I'm having trouble saying generators today. <laughs> uh, one without an upgrade, one with the double layer one, and one with the octatic one. And uh, I basically put in a stack of coal in each at the same time. I can see here, we're almost done burning through one stack here when we're done burning through half a stack here. So the burn time is accurate. All right. And here we have 25% more than we have here. This is really pretty cool. Now you can also see the power difference here. This is a lot more full than this is, right? So here we have about one, two, three, four times as much power as we have in here, all right? But we burned, burned through twice as much fuel in here 
Wait, now we burned twice as much fuel in here, but we've got four times as much power as in here. Right? <laughs> so the values do apply, and yeah. Pretty cool. That's about it for the video. Stirring generator, a good way of generating power when you start off, because the recipe is very cheap. And uh, again, there are other ways of generating power. You can check out other videos by me on the wiki pages. Also, I have Let's Plays, so please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Check those out. And as always, leave some feedback in the comments. It really does help me out. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.